Welcome back to the video, guys. We got a little, uh, we got a little rain coming in right now in Jersey. Partly cloudy, and then it should be uh, blue skies, clear skies for the rest of the day. Um, early morning, not that early. It's like 10 o'clock right now. But I'm crossing over into New York. I need to go get my bike inspected because I haven't got it inspected yet. So yeah, New Yorkers gotta get their automobiles inspected every year. It's just uh, another way for the government to uh, snatch away your money. I need. I I really. And I get this question a lot. People are always asking me, why do you still have your New York plates? And before it was like, oh, I'm just. I'm never gonna give up my plates. But eh, I'm gonna give them up now. Time to get some Jersey plates. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're heading into uh, Empire Harley in New Rochelle. So a little quick ride over there and it should take five minutes to inspect the bike and boom, get the little sticker and head back home. The topic that I want to talk about today is why I ended up getting this Road Glide, which is a question that I've been receiving a lot lately. Uh, and especially from a lot of people that are in the market right now for a Road Glide. They're coming off soft tail models or they're coming off sportsters and they really want to make the jump onto this bike. So I just want to go over all the reasons why I decided to go with the Road Glide. Now first things first, we're going to go into the looks department. Uh, this bike is just drop dead gorgeous. Um, I've been, I've had my eyes on this bike for the past year and a half. Um, and with that being said, let me just say that just a few years back, I never saw myself on a bagger, never. And people always told me, well, yeah, one day you're gonna get off your sporty and you're gonna want a bagger and you're gonna wanna be doing longer trips, you're gonna want this. I'm like, hell no, never. I just wasn't interested in, I really wasn't. I mean, let's be honest here, just a few years ago, baggers were, they were looked up to as the grandpa bike. I mean, if you got a bagger, you were a grandpa. But in the few years that have passed, baggers have become the cool thing now. So a lot more younger riders are paying attention. They're rolling them out into performance baggers. Um, they're looking over soft tails and dinas. They're just jumping on these bikes now, which is pretty awesome. And it's pretty, uh, pretty dope to see the things that some of these guys have been able to do with these bikes. Some of these stunt riders out here are doing crazy stunts on these bikes, man. And you wouldn't think you would see things like that on a bike so heavy like this. Ah, look at this beautiful view. George Washington Bridge, baby. But yeah, the, the things that these stunt riders are able to do with these bikes are crazy, man. They treat them like they're just Dynas or FXRs. That's how easy they make it look. So long story short, I wasn't a fan of baggers a long time ago. Um, but yeah, like in the last year and a half, um, I wanted one. And I first wanted a street glide, and then I just diverted that whole transaction into the road glide. Like it just the road glide to me was just a bit more appealing. Um, and it's it's just drop that gorgeous man. This bike's just this bike looks mean. Just just standing there doing nothing. It just looks great. Now, obviously, number one, the bike is beautiful. That's why I got it and I wanted it. Number two, the fact that you're able to have this big, huge fan right in front of you for longer rides, I mean, it's, it's amazing. You're keeping all this wind off of you. Um, and obviously your body's not getting that fatigued because um, after a full day riding on a bike without a fan or anything like that, your, your body gets fatigued. So you're definitely able to do a lot more miles on these bikes. I mean, these bikes are literally built for uh, for those heavy, long miles. And why is there so much traffic here so early in the morning? Why? But yeah, the, the, the fairing is amazing, man. Um, it definitely keeps all the wind off of you. I'm gonna be changing out the windshield soon. Um, so that should be coming in within, uh, I'm gonna say maybe a week or two. Um, so we're gonna go with the uh, Memphis Shades windshield on it. It's gonna look sick. I love the look of the lights in the front. Um, I, I don't know, the, the whole design of this frame was, I could say, really well thought out. It's just, I prefer this frame 10 times over the street glide. 
and don't get me wrong I, I really love the looks of the street glide but to me the, the strand is just better the way everything is laid out um, it's just awesome number one thing the street glide has is that it just has all the gauges right on top so everything is right in front of you and it's you know you sit much closer but um, I don't know like I, I love the whole cockpit here I like how everything is spread out it's kind of like I'm in a plane and you know <laughs> it's pretty cool also the navigation is awesome it's just uh very useful and you have the music which is awesome one of my favorite things on here i'm like i'm constantly constantly just listening anytime i'm not vlogging i got my music blasting i love it i could just crank it up and it's, it's dope man i got the navigation right here uh the six gallon gas tank which is a plus man um it's it's very rare when, when you got to fill up on this bike unless you're taking it you know you're, you're crushing heavy miles all day or you're going cross country or down south or north whatever it is um but if, if it's uh <clears throat> but if you use a bike for like locally like i do and just little rides here and there like this the, the gas tank is gonna last you a while i wanted a bike that was gonna have all these amenities um and yes i spoke previously uh, when I had my Dyna and I was building on my low rider S at the same time and I wanted to do like a mini bagger build and I had a lot of people telling me yes it's you're, you're gonna love it but at the end of the day what you really want is a road glide because that's what I really wanted but I wanted to go to like the cheaper alternative route and just build my own little bagger um, and everyone kept telling me you're gonna love it but at the end of the day it's it's not gonna be what you really want it to be it's not the road glider street glider you want and it's true i, I noticed later on I, I sat down and i thought about it i'm like i'm not gonna sit here and spend all this money build this out and then be like yeah you know what i i still want a road glide <laughs> uh, it's just that this bike already comes with the bags comes with the big fairing comes with the music already comes with the big gas tank it comes with everything i wanted so it, it, after a while it was like eh, it was a no-brainer man these bags are awesome um and the paint on this bike literally like i don't know something about this paint job it's just perfection man it's it's awesome it's one of the things that just like literally sold me on the bike right away i mean paint jobs do bikes great justice because this bike looks amazing all blacked out right a bl an all black bike black paint is just it's beautiful it's just classic right but when you have a paint job like this is like wow it sold me it really sold me now another reason why i wanted this bike is because obviously spending more time riding uh i, I want to plan longer trips i want to do different things so in the year to come i you know i want to ride out to canada I want to try to go out to Sturgis next year as well um, and I want to start doing longer trips and just just documenting everything and making memories and obviously I want to do it on a bike that I'm going to be comfortable on yes everyone does it on you know soft tails dinas and everything else even sporties yes you could do it but on here you're going to do it comfortably right you're gonna be able to get more out of the ride and enjoy more. I mean, that's the reason why most people get baggers is because they wanna start doing more miles and they wanna be comfortable while they're on those long trips. Now, if you notice, yes, I am wearing the Rurock. I'm still going back and forth with emails with them. Um, I actually received a, uh, a nice little email from them, actually. They're actually trying to make me happy right now. Uh, so I'll be following up later on on, uh, on another video They're trying to make things right So we'll see what happens I really wanted to love this helmet Because let's be honest Like I said before The helmet looks dope as hell It looks, it just looks cool man And the reason why I'm still vlogging in it Is because I just I made this my vlogging helmet I did the whole setup and everything like that And I don't know We'll see <clears throat> now we all know that 
street glides for a long time have been probably like one of Harley Davidson's best selling bikes. Um, it was the number one selling bagger. Um, but I think this year, I, things like in the past year, that number has shifted a lot into the road glides. And I think after this year, after 2021, that number is going to change drastically. It's going to be a lot, a lot of more people buying road glides over street glides. They just have that cool factor right now, man. I love the fact that these bikes are extremely heavy because they are heavy. They're around 800 pounds. Um, but once you get them going, they, uh, they're so light. And they're actually very nimble. Like you wouldn't think so, but these bikes are very, very nimble. And you can kind of like just throw them around a lot and get in the corners. Obviously, not as aggressively as you would uh, a sporty or something because that's extremely light compared to this. But you could definitely throw these bikes around a lot. They're extremely comfortable. Um, and even if you change out the suspension, which I'm going to do, it's, you know, it's going to be even more comfortable. And then lastly, just the customization with these bikes, just like almost any Harley Davidson, it's just endless. You can do so much. You go different routes. Um, there's so much you can do. Aftermarket parts for these bikes are insane, man. Insane. I have like so many ideas and so many stuff that I want to get for this bike. And this is one of the coolest things, man. When you when you have a Harley, is like you you know you spec it out to your own touch. You give your own little special touch on it to make it look different from everyone else's, and um, that makes everything a bit more special. All right, so we're here at Empire Harley Davidson. <laughs> inspected that was quick just had to wait a little while because it was raining uh, just my luck man it's like <laughs> literally every time I think I get on this bike every time and I mention it that every time I get on this bike it rains um, gave you guys a nice little walkthrough of the dealership what do you guys think about the uh, Empire Harley Davidson that Arctic what is it is it Arctic Blue Blast the street glide that thing looks sick man and that one's still available that's number 15 15 so I remember the last time I was in um, Bergen I posted a video on my Instagram people asked me what number what number is it and I didn't uh, didn't look at it but that was number 15 anyways um, met up with some people here as well some subs stop by so what's up so shout out to you um, I think that's gonna it's gonna be it man I've pretty much mentioned everything I love about this bike and why I got it it's, uh, it's an amazing machine man did I forget to mention that this is the special so obviously with the special you're gonna get the 114 and then your cockpit right here is gonna be in this nice gloss black which I love um, I really don't like the way it looks on just the regular uh, road glide or when you get a street glide which is like a matte black um i, I just think they, they should just all come regardless of what it is they just come in this nice gloss black right here it just makes it look more premium uh makes it look really nice love that about it the amount of looks that i got on this bike is crazy like i i didn't think that i was gonna get so many looks 
on this bike the way I do on my low rider S because anytime I ride my low rider S is like eyes everywhere everyone they just they just love that bike and I just think I was gonna get that same reaction with this bike but it's uh, pretty much the same man pretty much because of the the pay job I gotta admit because if it was just any uh you know regular colors like eh, whatever but I guess the, the paint job kind of stands out and then the fact that you know the chrome just pops out as well uh chrome's coming back baby chrome is coming back huge huge fan I'm so happy I went with the chrome on here not the uh all blacked out version just something about it something that just screams out classic subtle but wild uh, it's like I don't know it's like a little bit of everything in there sprinkled upon everything hopefully it doesn't start raining again and I get home dry if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment and subscribe hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content <laughs> yo those pipes sound so good man so so good <laughs> love it chrome works baby anyways i think that's gonna be it guys if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment and subscribe hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace